we explain creativity in the workplace. This is Sean, a product manager working on the launch of a new sailboat. The presentation has to be ready by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Sean feels stressed because he's missing the big idea. Sean's supervisor, Vincent, wants to help him. He's read that creative spaces lead to creative work. So, Vincent decides to build the best workplace on Earth with open plan offices, common areas, and wellness areas for Sean to be resourceful. But Sean still doesn't feel creative when he's at work. Sean has his best ideas outside the office while running, chatting with friends, listening to music, or having a shower. Like Sean, the majority of people are not creative on the job. The main reasons are too many distractions, having no time, being too focused, or feeling stressed. So is it ever possible to have outstanding ideas at work? This is Lisa, Vincent's daughter. Lisa works on her startup in a garage with her two friends. Surprisingly, Lisa has her best ideas in the garage. Vincent wonders why. The garage isn't the best workplace on earth. Furthermore, he knows Lisa is stressed too. Being an entrepreneur is like jumping from a plane without a parachute and trying to figure out how to make one on the way down. So why does Lisa have her best ideas in the garage? What matters most for Lisa is her team. One, they inspire her every day. They share their thoughts openly and have respect for their expertise. Two, there is a creative atmosphere. It's okay to be yourself and do whatever you want. Sing out loud, do a workout or daydream. Three, they know creativity is required for their startup to survive and grow. How can Vincent help his employees to be creative? He works in a big corporate balloon. Vincent realizes that creativity in the workplace depends more on the people and the energy between them than on the environment. He identifies four key elements behind Lisa's creativity. First, surround yourself with people on your wavelength, folks you would like to go sailing with. These are people you are more likely to communicate with, which builds trust. Trust is a major element for creativity because people are more likely to give honest feedback and come up with daring ideas. Second, allow time to not focus. Under extreme time pressure, people are likely to focus too hard and hold on to a narrow point. Not focusing helps to widen the horizon. For instance, informal talks with colleagues help to see problems from a bird's eye view, offer different perspectives, and thereby open the horizon for unusual solutions. Third, demand creativity. To accelerate creative thinking, get a genius on board. A genius places high standards on himself, is passionate about his job, and inspires others to deliver creative excellence too. And finally, have a common purpose. If people are driven by the same goal, they help each other to have great ideas. Six months later, Sean, Vincent, and his new colleagues go on a sailing trip to test drive the new boat. Like good friends, they have the time of their life, and they keep one promise. What happens on the sailboat stays on the sailboat.